Today for our class, you're going to need a pencil, markers, crayons, and a white piece of paper or your sketchbook. If you don't have any of these materials, you can substitute them with color pencils. Our monster project is based on an artist named Neve Sharkey. She is from Ireland and has been a member of the Illustrators Guild in Ireland for several years. She is well known for all her illustrations and her children's picture books. Her most famous one is after a monster named Henry, and it was so inspirational that they decided to sign her and make a cartoon series that she helped create and edit for Disney Junior called Henry Huggle Monster. For our monster project, we're gonna start by looking at some examples and remembering some of the illustrations we saw from Henry Huggle Monster, and we're gonna create our own. But instead, we're gonna create ours in a mason jar, and we're gonna to try to pretend that we're catching our monsters. So go ahead and get a piece of paper and pencil, and we're gonna start by drawing the mason jar itself. So go ahead and point to the middle of your paper and do about four fingers from the top and draw a little line. Now let's go ahead and bring our hand down. Let's do four fingers from the bottom and draw a little line. So this is the top and the bottom of our mason jar. And our mason jar is going to be about four fingers for the lid apart and about five or six fingers for the bottom. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of give my fingers here so I can see how wide it's supposed to be. I'm going to draw a skinny little oval like this. After I draw a skinny little oval, I'm going to draw inside a little bit and draw a line down. It's a little bit inside from the circle. Two lines coming down. After I draw those two lines, I'm going to go ahead and do another skinny little oval. And it might overlap the top, but that's okay. This helps give us our three dimension feel. Um, after we do that, we're going to start to draw the base of it and the inside part. So I'm going to put my pencil here and I like to kind of do these little outward curves first. And then I'm going to curve it like this and then go straight down. Once I get close to here, I'm going to curve and go straight across. And now I'm going to try the other side. Now remember, when you're doing this, sometimes it's really hard to get them to look exactly the same. So don't worry, just try your best. So now I have this mason jar kind of shape. And I can go back in with my pencil. I actually like to do that. So for this um, project, one thing that's kind of nice, if you have a tortilla and you can blend your pencil or you can even just use your finger. And did you know that your finger can kind of push along the pencil lines and blend it? So let's go ahead just on the side of this and push hard with our pencil and do some passing lines like this. See, I'm doing a bunch of little scratchy lines. Keep going with those scratchy lines and then you can use your finger to kind of blend it even more. Now, if you have a charcoal stick or if you have um, a different type of charcoal pencil, this will really help. But see, I'm going softer as I go in. So go ahead and try it again. We're going to go softer, really light. And notice I'm kind of just turning it in. It's softer right here, less scratch marks. And then now I'm going to go back here to my line. I'm going to push dark again to get that shape again around the outside, and I'm gonna shade it light, 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 light. Shade lightly with our pencil. If you wanna use your finger again, or if you have a Kleenex, notice my finger's starting to get dirty. That's great, because now this is gonna be like a tool that we can use, okay? And I'm gonna just kind of rub it again. So now I'm getting this nice 3D effect. So let's do it to all of our sides. So again, we start by curving it like this, and I'm doing a lot of little sweeping lines back and forth, like I'm shading, like I'm coloring in almost. And I'm going around the side like this. And then that's darker. Now the next time when we do it, we're going to go a little bit lighter. And I'm following the curve of the mason jar going a little bit lighter. Now let's use your finger. Push hard, push hard, push hard. Let's kind of smear that pencil if we can. Smear that pencil. Good job. And now once you think you got it, you can go really dark along that outer line to really make that mason jar pop. All right, now we need to do the lid. So we're going to go like this around the circle. Just kind of go a little bit inward and just do circular motion with your finger. It should be good and dirty. We want a dirty finger. It really helps. And now for this, we're going to shade it a little bit like this, up and down, up and down, and then use your finger to push again. Now, after we smear it a bunch, let's go back over our lines one more time. Push hard with your pencil now. And then one more time here. Good, so now you have that really beautiful mason jar with that 3D effect. So the next step is, is we need to draw our horizon line. So we're gonna start somewhere here. I'm gonna put my pencil down, and I'm just gonna go right through this like this. 
Um, now we're going to start on the outsides. The inside of the mason jar is just going to be done lightly. So let's start out here. I'm going to push really hard with my pencil and then I'm going to go lighter, 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 lighter. And I'm just shading back and forth like this. Okay. And I'm going to push again a little harder here and stop. And then we're going to use our finger and blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And we're going to leave the bottom kind of white. And now let's push hard again, push hard again, and blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it with your finger. So you're starting to get this beautiful horizon line. Now let's go ahead the other side. We push it hard. We go right up to there, right up to that mason jar. And then we go a little lighter. I'm not pushing as hard with my pencil. Now I'm going like super light, super light, almost to nothing. Now let's go again. I'm going to push a little bit harder, but then I'm going to stop here. And then I'm going to push super hard up at the top. Again, you want it to be darker at the horizon line and get lighter as you come closer to your belly on the table. And then I'm pushing with my finger and blending again. Beautiful job. Now my finger's getting really dark, which is great. I like when that happens. So the last step we need to do is very lightly, we're going to draw the reflection of the mason jar on the ground very lightly. And in fact, I'm so happy that my finger is dirty at this point because now I can really use it to just kind of blend this bottom very simply. And that's it. That's all you need. Now we have our mason jar and we're ready to make our monsters. Okay, so we're going to first think about, oops, actually forgot one step. So in here, let's go ahead and just do a little, little blend, just very little, almost like there's nothing. Okay, and then just go ahead and wipe it. And that's it. We really don't want much in the mason jar because it's going to be reflected by the glass and you wouldn't see that much. We only see a little bit. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pick a monster. So I want you to think about Let's start with the head. We want the head to be the biggest because that's like the biggest shape that we're going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and I think for mine, I'm going to make like a circle head. And then you guys can go ahead and pick from there. Or pick one from your imagination. Think about the head. Make the head nice and big. It's going to be bigger than our bodies. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw eyes. I could draw eyes in here or I think I want to make my eyes kind of pop off of my head. Think about how you want your eyes to look. And go ahead and draw your eyes. I'm going to give myself some eyelashes and an eyeball. How do your eyes look? Okay. So once you get your eyes, the next step is we're going to do our nose. I'm just going to do little nostrils, little over some of the nostrils for my nose. Then after my nose, there's also some examples over here if you want to take a look um, for eyes and nose. Um, let's think about the mouth. Do you have teeth? What does your mouth look like? I'm going to make my mouth kind of big like this and I'm going to draw little teeth. Then maybe I'm going to add like a tongue. So now we have our eyes, nose, and mouth. If you want to add some ears or some hair or any details at this point, you can go ahead and add some little spikes for hair, some little curls for ears. Look at these different spikes. Um, think about what you want to do for your ears and hair. Um, also look back. Think if you can add any details. Maybe I want to add some circles because my monster is going to have bumps. Or maybe there's some bumps on their eyes. What kind of little details can you add to your monster? Now let's go ahead and look at the body. You can make a body shape like this. Or you can go ahead and use um, feet. I'm just going to go ahead and make some feet. Mine's going to have kind of like these tentacle type legs, I think. And I'll put little circles on it here. What details are on your legs? So go ahead and draw your legs. And remember, at any point in time, you can always hit pause if I'm going too quick. So after you do your legs, you can go ahead and draw some arms if you want to add some arms. I'm just going to do these little ones on the side like that for my arms. So now that I have this all drawn in pencil, it looks beautiful. So you have two options. You can either keep this in pencil or you can do color pencil or you could do marker and crayon. I really like to do the crayon because I think it really makes it pop out. But sometimes it looks really cool as a pencil drawing. So you may, you're the artist, you make the decision. So at this point in time, I'm gonna actually try to find a marker to really make this pop out. You can outline it in black, or again, you can just leave it like this and color it in. Um, so for mine, I think I'm gonna make this a purple monster. So I'm just gonna take a purple marker and I'm gonna go over all my lines very carefully. And you're going to take a marker if you'd like 
and go ahead and go over all your little lines. And it's okay, we're going to erase our pencil marks, but if you go nice and slow, you should be able to go right on top of those lines that you made and not miss anything. And if you need to erase at the end, that's okay. And if you don't go exactly over your lines, that's okay too. So I'm just about done here. And remember, I'm going to erase right afterwards. And then we're going to go to the next step. So now my little monster is really popping out. He's really looking like he's in this mason jar. And he looks very colorful. So I'm not going to use my markers anymore. I'm putting them away. And I'm going to either use color pencils at this point or crayons. I'm actually going to use my crayons today because I like that I have so many different color crayons. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. So I'm actually going to try to think about the color wheel. And I'm going to pick like cool tones, which are, it could be yellow and green and blue or purple. And I'm going to try to use different varieties. So it's light and dark. And I'm going to do some color blending too with my colors. So these are the colors that I chose. So I'm going to start by coloring in the body. And I'm doing it this light color blue. And it's okay if I go over some of my marker lines because I'm going to push harder with my darker colors to go over it. So I'm kind of going around the outside here with my monster, coloring in its body. And I want the legs to be the same color. You don't have to do that for yours. That's your decision. So I'm going in here over here. And I think the other really cool part about making this um, using crayons is it also helps it kind of blend in with the actual jar in the background. Now, I'm going to show you a step where we do color blending. So I have light blue. And maybe I want to have like a hint of color to kind of make it pop. I'm going to take a yellow, which normally the sun would reflect on us. So I'm going to add some yellow like the sun is reflecting on us with the blue. And sometimes when you do that, depending on the color, if it's light or dark, yellow and blue make the color green, right? Because our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And when you mix them, sometimes they make another color, our secondary colors. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that. So that's color blending. I took these two colors and blended it. Now for the other side, the opposite side, the side that's not facing the sun, let's pretend our sun's up here and it's shining bright down here. The side that's not facing the sun might have a shadow. So I'm going to go with a darker blue and just kind of hug the outside like this and go around the outside like this, just around the outside. So it kind of makes it now look like he's a little more three-dimensional. And he's popping out even more. Maybe I'll just go over the one side of the legs because my light source is coming from here. So the opposite side would be where my shadow would be. Maybe just on the side, too, of the eyeballs. And now you can see this little monster is really starting to pop out. So now i got to color in all the rest of the features. I might do some green here. Maybe the eyeballs will be a little green too. And add some of my blue. Maybe I want a blue tongue. And yellow inside the mouth. I'm going to leave my teeth that way as well. All right, so now my monster is done, but before we're finished, we gotta do our reflection down here. Now we're not gonna outline it with marker. We just want it to be barely reflecting where we can only see it just a little bit. So we're gonna flip it like it's a mirror image, and I'm gonna use the same color. So I'm gonna get this light blue and try to mimic, which is copying those feet, and then circling out that body to get a little bit more and again it's just a reflection on the ground and remember I did use some of those darker tones and I did use some of those brighter tones and I did have some of those little dots there but again I'm not pushing too hard because I just want it to look like it's a mirror image on the bottom and now I am finished so if there's any other touches you can do and just remember try to be minimal with the colors that you use and also do that color blending try to do the sunlight with the warm yellow coming in and maybe a darker color of the body color to get that shadowing I hope you guys like this can't wait to see your monsters thanks bye